today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1705, Queen Anne of England knights Isaac Newton at Trinity College, Cambridge. In 1780, the University of Munster in Munster, Germany is founded. In 1787, the first American comedy, The Contrast, makes its theatrical debut in New York City. In 1818, the United States Senate ratifies the rush bagot Treaty, establishing the border with Canada. In 1853, the first passenger railway opens in India. In 1854, San Salvador is destroyed by an earthquake. Also in 1854, the steamer Long Beach sinks off of New York. 311 people die. In 1861, U.S. President Abraham Lincoln outlaws northern states from doing business with Confederate states. In 1862, a bill ending slavery in the U.S. District of Columbia becomes law. In 1869, Ebenezer Bassett begins service as minister to Haiti as the first African-American diplomat. In 1881, in Dodge City, Kansas, Bat Masterson fights his last gun battle. In 1889, English entertainer Charlie Chaplin was born today. In 1900, the U.S. Post Office issues the first books of postage stamps. In 1908, Natural Bridges National Monument was formally established in Utah. In 1912, Harriet Quimby becomes the first woman to fly across the English Channel. In 1917, Vladimir Lenin returns to Russia from his 17-year exile. In 1919, Mahatma Gandhi organizes a day of prayer and fasting in response to the killing of Indian protesters by the British in the Amritsar Massacre. In 1922, sharpshooter Annie Oakley sets a woman's record by breaking 100 clay targets in a row. In 1926, the Book of the Month Club sends out its first selections. In 1929, the New York Yankees become the first MLB team to permanently feature numbers on the backs of uniforms. The numbers correspond to the player's position in the batting order. In 1932, Laurel and Hardy's crazy funny short film, The Music Box, is released in the United States. In 1935, today is the first radio broadcast of Fibber McGee and Molly. Also in 1935, 40-year-old future Baseball Hall of Famer Babe Ruth debuts in baseball's National League. In 1939, English singer Dusty Springfield was born today. Also in 1939, the Soviet Union proposes a three-way pact with Britain and France to counter Nazi Germany. They also sign a secret agreement with the Nazis. Go figure. In 1941, Bob Feller of the Cleveland Indians throws the only opening day no-hitter in the history of Major League Baseball. In 1943, Swiss scientist Dr. Albert Hoffman discovers the psychedelic effects of LSD, and hippies have been happy ever since. In 1944, Allied forces start bombing Belgrade and kill about 1,100 people. In 1945, more than 7,000 people die when the German refugee ship Goya is sunk by a Soviet submarine torpedo. Also in 1945, the United States Army liberates Nazi prisoner of war camp Kolditz Castle. And in 1945 as well, the Russian Red Army begins its attack on Berlin, the capital of Nazi Germany. And another in 1945, U.S. troops enter Nuremberg, Germany today. In 1946, a Dutch Special Court of Justice sentences the mayor of Rotterdam to 10 years in jail for his wartime support of Nazi Germany. Be careful who your friends are. In 1947, American basketball great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar was born. Also in 1947, an explosion on board a freighter in port causes the city of Texas City, Texas to catch fire, killing almost 600 people. In 1951, the British submarine Afre sank in the English Channel killing 75 people. In 1961, at the 15th Tony Awards, Beckett and Bye Bye Birdie win. In 1962, American journalist Walter Cronkite became anchor of the CBS Evening News. 
In 1963, while incarcerated in Birmingham, Alabama for protesting against segregation, Martin Luther King Jr. writes his influential Letter from Birmingham Jail. In 1964, the Rolling Stones released their debut album and it topped the charts for 12 weeks. Also in 1964, the nine men who attempted 1963's Great Train Robbery in England are sentenced to 25 to 30 years in prison. In 1977, Alex Haley claims to have found his roots in Jufere, Gambia. In 1978, NBC premieres the miniseries Holocaust. In 1979, actor-playwright Sam Shepard wins the Pulitzer Prize for Buried Child. In 1980, Arthur Ashe retires from professional tennis. In 1986, to dispel rumors he's dead, Libyan leader Muammar Gaddafi appears on television. In 1987, Howard Stern and Infinity Broadcasting are warned by the FCC regarding content, which causes the FCC to impose a broader definition of indecency over the airwaves. In 1990, Jack Kevorkian, whom the press call the Doctor of Death, participates in his first assisted suicide. Also in 1990, The Piano Lesson, starring Charles S. Dutton, appears at the Walter Kerr Theater in New York City for 320 performances. In 1992, the tanker Katina P runs aground off of Mozambique, spilling 60,000 tons of crude oil into the ocean. In 1993, the jury reaches a guilty verdict in the federal case against two police officers who beat Rodney King, but the verdict is not read until April 17th. In 2003, at age 40, Michael Jordan played his last game in the National Basketball Association today. He received a three-minute standing ovation after the game. Also in 2003, the Treaty of Accession is signed in Athens, Greece, admitting 10 new member states to the European Union. In 2004, the superliner Queen Mary II embarks on her first transatlantic crossing. In 2007, in one of the deadliest mass shootings in U.S. history, 33 people, including the shooter, are killed and 23 more wounded on the Blacksburg campus of Virginia Tech. Also in 2007, at the 41st CMT Music Awards, Carrie Underwood and Kenny Chesney win. In 2008, Pope Benedict XV leaves the Vatican for his visit to the United States. In 2012, the trial of Norwegian mass murderer Anders Bering Breivik begins today. Also in 2012, at least 55 people are killed in a Syrian uprising, despite the UN's presence to oversee the ceasefire. In 2014, the South Korean ferry seawall capsized and sank, killing 304 people, most of whom were high school students. Also in 2014, Real Madrid defeat Barcelona to win the 19th Copa del Rey trophy. In 2018, Kendrick Lamar is the first rapper and non-classical or jazz musician to win the Pulitzer Prize for music with his album, Damn. In 2019, Seattle Seahawks quarterback Russell Wilson becomes the highest paid player in NFL history when he signs a four-year, $140 million extension, which includes a record $65 million signing bonus. In 2020, a new study published in the journal Science states that a multi-decade mega drought is already underway in the Western United States. And lastly, also in 2020, a report released today shows that 22 million Americans have filed for unemployment in the previous four weeks, wiping out the nine and a half years of job gains. That was today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you watch the ones that are right there in front of you. I put them there for a reason. Have a great day. Talk to you tomorrow.